the darkness oh jesus christ we call to you before the stars let your light shine on us today remind with us till shadows fall sing sun dependence of the father jesus christ we sing to you the way of love that gives us to the kingdom with one heart we sing your praise out of our hearts oh jesus christ we call to you before the stars Let your light shine on us today. Remind me to us till shadows fall. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Today mass offer for the housework has to completed and for the God's blessing to Malik Arjun, Jitender Wala, Sham Tilak, Loknathan offered by Babu Lal. With this intentions let us join in this holy eucharistic celebration. Be my protector, O God, a mighty stronghold to save me, for you are my rock, my stronghold. Lead me, guide me, for the sake of your name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit. be with you all and with your spirit praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah 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 father we praise you father we praise you jesus we praise you jesus we praise you holy spirit god we praise you holy spirit god we praise you father we adore you father we adore you jesus we adore you jesus we adore you holy spirit god we adore you holy spirit god hallelujah 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 my dear brothers and sisters in christ jesus The readings of the day invite us to have close relationship with God. To have close relationship with God. The one who has close relationship with God, he will lead them and he will guide them, he will protect them always and he reveals the revelation of his mighty deeds, the person who has close relationship with him dear friends in christ jesus today we see the gospel of the day jesus led peter james and john to high mountain and they were together jesus was transfigured by seeing that they were surprised and they were amazed and peter was telling that my lord let us make three tents here so that we can be with you and without hesitating peter said these words dear friends in the same way if we have the close relationship with god surely god will reveal his revelation to us and his mighty deeds through us and his wonders through us if you have close relationship with god everything is possible jesus was transfigured and they were not able to see the transfiguration of jesus in first reading st james is telling or warning us the man who has close relationship with god the man who is in love with god the man who has so much love for god so much for people he must control his tongue he has to tame his tongue he says otherwise what did he do it is baseless or wasteless dear friends st james says very clearly the man who has close relationship with god he must tame his tongue because we speak the words which are coming from our mouth sometimes sometimes from our heart even we curse with our words 
and we give blessings st james says we read james chapter 3 verse 8 but no human being can tame the tongue it is a restless evil our tongue is restless evil full of deadly poison with it we bless our lord and father and with it we curse people who are made in the likeness of god we bless with our tongue even we curse that's why st james says take care of your tongue because our tongue is restless simply speaking simply speaking about others saying lies so tongue can destroy our lives dear friends you must take care of our tongue because you are the god's children we are called the disciples of christ we are called the children of god children of god must be saying the truth because the man who says i love my neighbor i love my god and if he says if he is not controlling his tongue he is not righteous man the word of god says the man who says i love god if i don't take care of my neighbor i am a liar he is a liar who says this dear friends in christ jesus in this holy eucharist celebration let us pray that god may give us the grace to keep our tongue in control and to have close relationship with our god so that we may be able to live the life which is pleasing to god praise the lord 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 for all the sins that you have committed against god and against his commandments let's all ask sorry from him i confess to almighty god and to my brothers and sisters that i have greatly sinned in my thoughts in my words in what i have done and in what i have failed to do through my faults through my faults through my most grievous fault therefore i ask the best mary o virgin all the angels and saints and to my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen lord have mercy lord have mercy christ have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy let us pray oh god who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen, amen. the body dies when it is separated from the spirit so also faith apart from works is dead the first reading a reading from the letter of st james chapter 2 verses from 14 to 24 and 26 no human being can tame the tongue the first reading a reading from the letter of st james chapter 3 verses from 1 to 10 let not many of you become teachers my brethren for you know that we who teach shall be judged with greater strictness for we all make many mistakes and if any one makes no mistakes in what he says is perfect man 
able to bribe the whole body also. If we put bits into the mouths of the horses that they may obey us, we guide their whole bodies. Look at the sheep also. Though they are so great and are driven by strong winds, they are guided by the small rudder wherever the will of the pilot directs. So the tongue is a little member on boosts of the great things. How great a forest is set blazed by a small fire? And the tongue is a fire. The tongue is an oppressious wrong and vault among members. Straining the whole body, setting on the fire the cycle of nature, and set on fire by hell. For every kind of beast and bird, of reptile and sea creature, can be turned and been termed by humankind. But no human being can tame the tongue. A restless evil full of deadly poison. With it is we bless the Lord and Father and with it we cause men who are made in likeness of God. From the same mouth come blessings and cursings too. My brethren, this ought not to be so. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Lord. Response, Sir Alsam. Your response, please. It is you, O Lord, who will make us in your care. It is, it is you, you, O Lord, who, makes who will you take us take in, us your, in care. your care. Help, O Lord, for good men have vanished. Truth has gone from the sons of men. Falsehood they speak one to another. With lying lips, with a false heart. Your response? It is you, you O Lord, Lord, who will Lord take, take us ups. in your care. May the Lord destroy all lying lips, the tongue speaking high sounding words. Those who say, Our tongue is our strength, our lips are our own. Who is our master? Your response? It is, it you, is you, O Lord, Lord who will who take, will us, take us, in us in your care. care. The words of the Lord are words without allay. Silver from the furnace, seven times refined. It is you, O Lord, who will take us in your care and protect us from ever from this generation. Your response? It is, it you, is you, O Lord, Lord who, will who will take us in your care. In your care. Words are words of wisdom, Alleluia. The word of God is living and active. It discerns the thoughts and intentions of the heart, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark Glory to you, o Lord Gospel according to Saint Mark 
chapter 9 verses 2 to 13 and after six days jesus took with him peter and james and john and led them up a high mountain by themselves and he was transfigured before them and his clothes became radiant intensely white as no one on earth could bleach them and there appeared to them elijah with moses and they were talking with jesus and peter said to jesus rabbi it is good that we are here let us make three tents one for you and one for moses and one for elijah for he did not know what to say for they were terrified and a cloud was shadowed them and a voice came out of the cloud this is my beloved son listen to him and suddenly looking around they no longer saw anyone with them but jesus only and as they were coming down the mountain he charged them to tell no one what they had seen until the son of man had risen from the dead so they kept the matter to them themselves questioning what this rising from the dead might mean and they asked him why did the scribes say that first elijah must come and he said to them elijah does come first to restore all things and how is it written of the son of man that he should suffer many things and be treated with contempt but i tell you the elijah has come and they did to him what whatever they pleased as it is written of him the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ my dear beloved brothers and sisters in jesus christ david says i will call upon the lord in all my difficulties in all my problems in all my worries when i call upon my god he promised me jeremiah 33 verse 3 he said those who call upon me i will bless i will do greater things in their life yes my beloved brother and sister in this early morning let's all call upon our mighty god through this small hymn and praise him thank you lord we praise you master we glorify you we thank you lord we worship you we adore you What a mighty God we have 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 Thank you Lord What a mighty God we have Amen What a mighty God we have What a mighty God we have Let us sing and praise the Lord Let us sing and praise the Lord Let us sing and praise the Lord What a mighty God we have Let us sing and praise the Lord Amen Let us sing and praise the Lord Let us sing Let us sing and praise the Lord 
What a mighty God we have. Let us clap and praise the Lord. Let us clap and praise the Lord. Let us clap and praise the Lord. What a mighty God we have. Let us clap and praise the Lord. Let us clap and praise Let us clap and praise, clap and praise the Lord. Claps. Let us clap and praise the Lord. What a mighty God we have. Let us dance. And praise the Lord. Let us dance and praise the Lord. Let us dance and praise the Lord. What a mighty God we have. Let us dance and praise the Lord. Amen. Let us dance and praise the Lord. Let us dance and praise Let him. us dance and praise the Lord. What a mighty God we have. Once again, let us dance and praise the Lord. Let us dance and praise the Lord. Let us dance and praise the Lord. What a mighty God we have. Let us dance. Let us dance and praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Let us dance and praise the Lord. Let us dance and praise. Let us dance and praise the Lord. Let us dance and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Father, we praise you. Father, we praise you. Jesus, we praise you. Jesus, we praise you. Holy Spirit, God, we praise you. Holy Spirit, God, we praise you. Hallelujah. 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 My dear beloved brothers, it is very nice to reflect. upon the living god living word in this early morning you know when i reflected upon both readings of the day while i was reading the gospel one of the word god stopped me there what is that word i will let you i will tell you kindly read of read that word mark's gospel chapter 9 holy verses 7 we read and and a cloud overshadowed them a cloud overshadowed them and a voice came out of the cloud and a voice came out of the cloud This is my beloved son. This is my beloved son. Listen to him. Listen to him. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, my dear beloved brothers and sisters. While I was reading that, God is not telling me to go further. He stopped there. He stopped there. Then I understood that. So I need to focus my sermon. My homily has to be focused on these words. This is my son. Listen to him. To whom who who was talking, who spoke, and with whom he spoke. This is a voice came from cloud. Scripture says. 
which means father heavenly father spoke about his son to disciples from the cloud a voice came out which means heavenly father presence was there telling about his son jesus to his disciples oh my dear disciple you do not know the value of my son you do not know the importance of my son the presence of my son listen carefully why i call you to this mountain why my son called you to this mountain to tell you a great truth what is the truth to tell you about who is my son he is fully man and fully god he is a god in human form so that's the reason when jesus took all the peter james john to the mountain the first thing happened was it transfigured in front of them scripture says transfigured fully changed his figure his body his figure completely changed by seeing that at least they will they will remember at least these are my disciples let me tell them let me show to them who i am so in front of them so far they saw only as a messiah they saw only the miracles but the real form of me real figure of me they did not see so this is the reason why my son called you to this mountain in order to show himself who he is i am his father remember i am telling you what i am telling you know today listen to him even mother may also says do what he says mother also said same thing about son heavenly father also said same thing about son listen to him he is my beloved son by all means you have to listen to him if you listen only you will be coming to my place the heaven hallelujah 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 so therefore my beloved brothers and sisters so god taught me a truth today is we we, we should learn ourselves to listen to him but there are few people in the world there are many who forget this truth what is the truth i need to listen to him why i should listen to him he is my creator he is my god he is my everything for me today i got this woman life because of him because of him he is the one who created me so to whom i have to listen i have to listen only to him only to him if i don't listen to him what happens i don't receive any blessings from him it is like there are two sons i always say one son listens to parents whatever mummy says he listens whatever daddy says he listens if daddy says go to, come lay along with me we'll go to field we'll have some work he goes mummy says you go to the shop and get some uh, some things maybe onion maybe tomato anything he goes then another son of them however they say however they request daddy please go daddy bangaram please go bangaram that fellow never mind those words so one son listens to them and one another one is doesn't listen doesn't mind them at all now here parents their attention is always on the person they always think about the one who listens to them for the for their birthdays they choose a special dress for them 
because this son of mine he is very good fellow he listens to me whatever we say he listens whatever suppose he wants to go somewhere if he says don't go nana he doesn't go he listens keenly to his parents because for him parents are important not the other outsiders so in the sight of parents he gets good name even our own maybe friends or relatives anybody whom do we love most those who listen to us those who don't listen don't those who don't go according to us those who don't help us we don't mind them why should i mind that fellow that fellow did not do what i say even we say about our own friends and relatives anybody in that matter so we love those who listen to us our attention will be on them those who listen, listen to us so in the same way my brothers and sisters our god also one who listens to him those who listen to his words those who listen to him only he thinks himself to do something in their life if i don't listen to him if i don't mind god's word and god's promises in my life if i don't if i don't mind his words if i neglect him what happens he neglects me if i don't listen to him the evil will come and it will disturb me instead of listening to my god instead of listening to him and acting and following his words in my life so the evil will come it will make myself to listen to that fellow then what i do instead of moving towards him i move towards the world and worldly things that's the reason we see isaiah book of isaiah chapter 28 holy verses 23 we read and reflect what isaiah says about the voice of god we listen 28 23 book of isaiah 28 23 give ear listen carefully my brother my sister give ear and hear my voice and hear my voice listen carefully give ear means what be attentive what god says yeah give attention yeah and hear my speech give your attention and give you listen my speech yes does he who plows for ah. sowing flow ah. continually mm. does he continually open and harrow his ground mm. yeah, no, brother praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah he says be attentive to my speech oh my dear brother and sister are you attentive to god or attentive to the people or to the world today's god is asking you we are the people of god we are the children of god we are the chosen race he says that you belong to me i am your god you are my people we are specially chosen by god my brothers and sisters so therefore what is asking is our creator he says that be attentive my voice to my voice but there are some people who are who are closely attentive to the worldly things they are closely attentive attentive suppose in the family uh, maybe wife or husband or parents or children somebody is reading god's word or saying grocery they close their ears there are people they close their ears and they keep the volume tv volume they increase when it happens when son or wife reads god's word wife wants to be attentive so attentive to god's word let me grow in the word let me grow in anointing let me be blessed by god let me let me learn some things the spiritual things spiritual let me grow so that god will bless my family this is the way how the wife does but another way why husband comes from the office he gets ready nicely and he will watch tv the serials 
Today there are many families which are being destroyed by the spirit of TVs, by the spirit of evil things. There is one family. The other day when I visited the family, as a wife was telling, Father, I don't understand. Twenty-four hours my husband is in front of TV. I don't know why he is so attentive to the worldly things. He is so attentive to the one serial. He will never fail to watch in that. He watches. If he misses uh, the live program, he again he goes. He takes mobile and he watches before sleeping. So he is becoming mad, father. I don't understand. He is watching okay, but another thing, my children are so being spoiled by that. My children are so only be attentive, so attentive to the. Serials and movies, instead of so attent, instead of having attention to God's word and God's things, heavenly things, they are so attentive to the earthly, earthly things. I don't know, Father, what I have to do. Then I said, keep, keep praying, Ma. Don't worry. One day God will change their hearts and minds, so that they may be. attentive so attentive to god's word you don't worry you go ahead i said see my beloved brothers and sisters the evil will disturb the families as been mind is changed it disturbs the family members mind that lady was telling before my children never had the attention to towards serial father but i don't know these days i say to them come just read for me because i do not know how to read perfectly you read for me before the nicely they are sitting and reading god's word to me for me and we all are reflecting god's word we all were enjoying even my husband also was coming But these days I do not know, Father. My husband starts first. He, he only switch on the TV. Lot of sound he keeps. Then my children, instead of being with me, they also started to move there. Whole family was praying. Now you see the whole family was disturbed by the serial, the evil spirit. Now I am alone, Father. I don't know what to do. I am also. my attention also going there because lot of sound he keeps where you that's why scripture says where your treasure is there your heart will be my husband treasure is serial movies my children also be attracted to that attracted to that so whole family got spoiled disturbed why they are disturbed no peace they say in the family no joy in their hearts to that particular time they will be waiting whole day they don't eat properly they don't talk with the family members properly because of that serial only will be moving in their minds the evil sometimes it will attack us so badly my brothers and sisters that's why scripture says be alert be aware oneself i should know what is happening within me what is happening outside me how the evil is attacking to me attacking me how the evil bringing lot of problems into my family if i am not aware alert myself that's all gone the case so therefore that family members once upon their war okay they're so attentive to the god's word spiritual things but now their attention was somewhere else so be careful my brother my sister to what your attention is going on which your attention is going bring them to god god's word my word as a as a child of god i should bring my attention to god not the people in the world Hallelujah
Hallelujah Hallelujah That's what you mean John says what he says listen John's gospel chapter 8 holy verses 47 we read John's gospel chapter 8 holy verses 47 Whoever listen carefully my brother my sister whoever whoever is of god whoever is of god he has the words of god he has the words of god the reason the reason why you do not hear them why he do not he doesn't listen to them is that is that you are not of god you are not of god things are clear who listens to god who doesn't listen to him who is of god only listens to god who is of the world doesn't listen to god doesn't listen to god now examine your life my brother my sister are you listening god or are you listening to the world if i am just if i am just listening to the world whatever the people say what are the world say however however uh, world guides me if i moving into that it is a time for prayer i know that it is a time for prayer somebody comes and says hey camera today we'll go for movie come let us go outside there is work if i don't remember i am belong to god i am child of god i am daughter of god first work is to do my god's work jesus says what is my work you know to do my father's will doing my father's will is my work my brother my sister if you give the first preference to god's work what happens you know you will be exalted in highway higher way you don't imagine even in such a level god takes you but we are the people simply we are we fall in the hands of evil we don't know somebody calls suppose i am worshiping god i am praying in the it is a pray time my friend knows but through friend the evil will attack and he that fellow will call come 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 let us go out he doesn't even ask where he will go but the one who knows the truth no this time for for me i have set this time maybe half an hour for god so these are the disturbances from evil so i i have to i have to i should say to that fellow friend just wait let me finish my prayer because this prayer is very important for me this is how the god's children in us they do my brother my sister but other people those who don't know their their value of it who they are even some people they forget even they forget that they are belong to god they are children of god they forget even as though they want they live their lives this my beloved brothers and sisters we are here only to listen and follow him when i listen my god he gives me whatever you want i want in my i want in my life if i don't listen to him he doesn't mind however i pray this son of mine doesn't listen to me doesn't follow doesn't follow what i say he follows the world he listens to the world and worldly people let him cry let him pray let me see after some time but to the one who goes after god the one who listens to him what he does even before he ask he grants them because scripture says god grants the prosperity or wealth those people whom he loves even while they sleep also he grants them he grants them richness and wealth my brother my sister such a wonderful god we have so therefore 
learn yourself to listen to him that's what one more scripture we read and reflect luke's gospel chapter 11 holy verses 28 we read luke's gospel 11 28 but he said but he said blessed rather are those who hear the word of god blessed rather those who hear god's word and keep it and keep it you see not simply listening some people may be thinking that you yeah, know father suresh god spoke through father suresh so if i listen enough god will bless me no you will be blessed but if you need more blessings more anointing more grace more power from god more than anybody what you must do not only listening whatever you listen you have to follow it then only you will be blessed more than your friends more than your relatives more than your husband and wife and anybody in the world for that more blessings you need to strive yourself one side we need to listen and another another side we need to follow then only god will bless you abundantly my dear brothers and sisters and finally we see ezekiel chapter 3 holy verses 10 we read and reflect ezekiel 3 10 prophet ezekiel chapter 3 holy verses 10 we read What is Ezekiel? Through Ezekiel, what God says to us today. Moreover, listen. Moreover, he said to me. He said to me. God said to me. What he said? Son of man. Oh, son of man. All my words. All my words. That I shall speak to you. Whatever I am going to speak to you. Whatever I am going to tell you. Receive in your heart. Receive in your heart. The first thing what you have to do. Receive in your heart. Yeah, and hear with your ears. And hear with your ears, and go to the exiles. And go to the exiles. To your people. To your people. And speak to them. And speak to them. And say to them. And say to them. Thus says the Lord God. Thus says the Lord of of God. Whether whether they hear or refuse to hear. Whether they hear or not, your work is. You are a prophet. You are my prophet. You are my priest. You are my servant. What you have to do? You have to learn yourself. Oh Ezekiel, oh my prophet, listen carefully. What to do? Whatever I am going to tell you now, you receive them into your heart. First thing, second thing, you li- you listen carefully. Receive my word and listen carefully and speak what I told you, my brother, my sister. to this small scripture what god is telling you you know whatever scripture says whatever god says as a child of god i need to receive them into my heart first thing but the one who is not to, able to open his heart how can the word of god will be fruitful in his life he doesn't receive the reward of it most of the people they come to the church they listen uh, with this year they listen and they just leave it there only they leave and go as though this is so burden for them there are some people those who go for the movie and after one month after two months after one year also they will tell such a date such a place such a, uh, such people i went for the movie they don't they never and ever forget what movie what heroine what kind of movie everything they tell but there are some people uh, the same people they come to the church one hour two hours maybe half an hour they hear the god's word and when we ask them just be, just soon after mass they say that i forgot father i forgot brother which means where their attention is where that attention goes to what their heart they give for whom their attention they are giving my brother my sister so listen carefully such people they don't receive god's blessings he because instead of giving attention to god instead of giving attention 
to spiritual things they give attention to the worldly things that's why nothing remains in their heart to movie to serials what are they like they open their heart when we open our heart mind will be open ears will be open eyes will be open we see we observe and we remember our mind will be remembering those things because we like but whereas for a heart some people they don't open the heart for god that's what scripture says revelation chapter 3 holy verses that holy verses 3 23 we read revelation chapter 20 verses 3 and threw him and threw him into the pit ha ah. and shut it and hmm. sealed it over him hmm. 320 bread so, 320 behold hmm i stand at the door and knock before listen my son listen my daughter before i stand before you ha ah. stand at the door and knock Ah. If anyone hears my voice, if anyone hears my voice, and opens the door, and opens the door, I will come into him. I will come into him, and I eat with him, and I will eat with him, and he with me, and he eats with me. Hallelujah! 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 When does God comes to me? When does God stays with me, speaks with me? not when i don't open my heart when god when i open to my god my heart when i open when i learn myself to open my heart only for god what happens god comes to me god stays with me and he blesses me three things happens in my life when i learn myself to open the heart which god has given me only to him only jesus only word of god only rosary only holy mass only good things when i open my heart number 1 god comes to me number 2 not only comes to me he stays with me number 3 not only stays with me he blesses me three things happens when i learn myself to open my heart only to him not to the world and worldly things three things he comes to me he stays with me he blesses me these three blessings if you need my brother my sister today in this mass pray for yourself just examine yourself where your heart is going to what you are giving your attention is it god or is it world and worldly things our worldly people give answer to god and if you are learn yourself to open your heart only to christ three three, three blessings you will receive you will receive god you will see that he stays with you and you will see the blessings abundantly on you and on your family so having this small reflection in your heart let's all pray during this holy mass amen you take our hearts we love you take our lives oh father we are yours we are yours yours as we stand at the table you set yours as we eat the bread of hearts can't forget we are the signs of your life with us we are yours We are your 
take our bread we ask you take our hearts we love you take our lives oh father we are yours we are you pray when that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to god the almighty father lord accept this praise and glory for our good and good of holy church may this oblation o lord we pray cleanse and renew us and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just and we in salvation always and we to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for in goodness you created man and when he was justly condemned in mercy you redeemed him through christ our lord through him the angels praise your majesty dominions and adore, adore and powers tremble before you heaven the virtues of heaven and the blessings are of him worship together with exaltation may our voices we pray join with these in humble praise as we acclaim holy holy holy, holy, holy lord, lord god, god of hosts heaven at our full of your glory hosts in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosts in the highest you are in need holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy they for these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willing to his passion he took bread giving thanks broke it and gave it to the disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice once more, giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, "Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me." the mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup we proclaim your death o lord until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and bread of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope paul anton our archbishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have had any mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages you may merit to be coest in a life and may praise and glory for you through your son jesus christ through him and in him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen let's all stand and see the beautiful prayer which our master jesus taught us to say our, our father, father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy, thy kingdom come thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen. deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy you may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior Jesus Christ for the kingdom the power and glory are yours now and forever Lord Jesus Christ with your apostles peace I leave you my peace I give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever Amen. the peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit 
let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take so the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take so the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take so the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, <coughs> that we may always long for that food by which we truly live. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth to the masses and then thanks, thanks be to, to God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 My dear beloved children of God, tomorrow is the day, a special day for all your children, all those who are going for the exam. Kindly send all your children, especially those who are preparing for the exams, send them with all the things for the exam whatever they are going to use for the exam send them with those things we will bless all your children and anoint them with uh, God's presence so that God may grant them wisdom and they may write exams well so kindly don't forget tomorrow is a special Sunday especially for all the children those who are going for the exams send them you also come along with them and we will pray for all your children and for you Amen God bless you all Your son, pray for us, sing us, Mary was pure. Mother of God, plead with your son, pray for us, sing us, Mary was pure. May God for cleansing streams over us, washing our souls from every strain. Mother of God, plead with your son, pray for us, sing us, Mary most pure.